what's going on everybody got a video here for you this is uh an application motion in space with uh vectors so we have a rifle is fired with an angle of elevation 36 degrees what is the initial speed if the maximum height of the bullet is 1600 feet all right so basically what we've got here i'll just make a little quick sketch here to to remind you this is b naught we've got alpha that's alpha right there uh this is x and this is our distance d and we've got x is equal to that's going to be v naught cosine alpha times t and y is equal to v naught sine alpha times t minus one half g t squared so g is the acceleration due to gravity it's 9.8 or you know what 9.8 when it's in meters and 32 when it's in uh feet all right <clears throat> so let's see how do we go about solving this all right so we can set up our position vector which we'll call that r of t is equal to v naught that's what we're looking for right v naught times cosine of 36 that's that's our alpha right there 36 t plus whoop and this is all times vector i plus and then we've got uh v naught sine 36 t minus one half g t squared times vector j all right let me erase this over here all right so th this right here is what we used we just plugged everything into that all right plugged in what we well now also let me just kind of take this and just kind of move it on up here to the side all right now we know g it's 32 okay because we're in feet i'm not gonna i'll plug the 32 in at the end i'm just gonna leave it as g not that i just think it might be it's a little easier to write everything all right so we we know that it reaches its it, uh, its maximum height is 1600 feet but what we have to know is okay at what time so what do i have to plug in for t in order for this to in order for it to be the uh 1600 all right at what time t all right well if i take the derivative of this v naught of t that is going to be v naught cosine 36 times vector i right because this v naught and cosine 36 that's just a constant all right plus and then this is going to be uh v naught sine 36 that's the derivative of this term minus and then the derivative of this one would just be g t g times t and this is times vector j all right <clears throat> now when does this thing reach its maximum height well it reaches its maximum height when the vertical component of the vector is zero I'm sorry the vertical component of the velocity 
is zero. Okay, that's when it's that's when it reaches its maximum height. It's going up, and then it reaches its maximum height, so that velocity will be zero, and then it goes back down. That's your maximum. Okay. All right. So we're going to take v naught sine 36 degrees minus gt equals zero and what we're going to do here is solve this for t and so this tells us that let's see this is going to go over we we'll move that over so we're going to get t is equal to v naught sine 36 degrees over g Okay, that'll come over, that'll be a negative, and then when, when we divide by negative g, negative and negative, that's going to give us the positive. Alright. Alright, so now, this is the time that it reaches its maximum height. Alright, so at that time, at that time, what do we have? Well, we have the vertical height, right? The vertical height, that's your Y. The vertical height is 1600. So if we take this time here, this T, plug it in here and here for T, then that should equal 1600. All right, so let's plug that in. All right, so we've got we've got v naught sine thirty six times v naught sine thirty six over g minus one half g times v naught sine thirty six over g squared. So all I did is I took this value right here and plugged it in here and here for t. That's all I did. And this should equal 1600. All right, so let's see what we have here. We've got, uh, that's going to be v naught squared times sine squared 36 over g minus one half g times uh, v naught squared sine squared 36 over g squared. I squared that. And that should equal 1600. And so I get v naught squared sine squared 36 over g minus what minus one half v naught squared sine squared 36 over g see that g and that g will cancel i'm left with just a g and that equals well and that equals 1600 all right so you can see this is this is a common term here see v naught squared sine squared over g v naught squared sine squared 36 over g okay and see this is a one in front so one minus one half that's going to give me one half v naught squared sine squared 36 over g equals whoop equals 1600 all right, and so now we can we can solve for v naught, and so the two and the g that'll go up there. So I get v naught squared is equal to two times g times sixteen hundred over sine squared thirty six, and so this tells me v naught is equal to the square root, and that's going to be. Uh, 2 times 32 times 1600 over sine squared 36. 
And then if we plug that into our calculator, that is going to give us uh, 544 feet per second. Let's see. Okay. All right. And it's it's actually 544.4165173, but I'll just leave it at 544 feet per second. So, it's it's really not that bad of a problem. I mean, you know, it's it's pretty easy. So, anyway, I hope that helped. Uh check out my other videos. Give me a like, share, subscribe, comment. And I'll see y'all in the next one later.